Hi, my name is Tony and in this video I'm going to show you 10 of my favorite tools I use pretty much every day. Number 10, the precision knife. This is an amazing tool for cutting curves and it isn't higher on my list because of the handle design. When a tool manufacturing companies will ever learn, the handle is as important as the blade. Not only for this tool, but for most. Look at this handle here. If it's very well in your palm, you can use it for longer periods of time and it just makes it easier to grip and pull. The design of this blade is perfect for tight curves, but you gotta keep it sharp, super sharp. Great tool, you should all have one. Number nine, the scratch owl. Now, this is a great handle, just like I was talking about earlier. This tool is good for marking, it's good for scratching, also super expensive. I mean, you can get a similar tool for way less, but you know, just look at it, beautiful. Feels great in your hand. You know, it's the handle, it's the handle. Number eight, the mini anvil. Everyone should have an anvil like this. Not too big, not too small. I love it that it doesn't take too much space on your workbench and uh, you can just move it around as you want. Don't need it anymore. Move it out of the way. Number seven, the rotary puncher. Unless you have dedicated hole punches from two to five millimeters, this tool is a must. I use it to make rivet holes, eyelet holes, and so forth. The big advantage is you can quickly choose any of the five sizes that come with this tool and make holes without any noise. Number six, the Arbor Press. This is probably the best 90 euros I spent on a tool ever. Because you can buy different heads that will perform different functions. I use this baby on everything from punching holes to setting eyelets and uh, rapid rivets. They come in different sizes, but you should stay away from the small one. This size is the best. Uh, it will get more useful if you buy different heads that will uh, perform different functions. Number five, the Palo Santo edge bevelers. Now, there are edge bevelers and there are these edge bevelers. These are expensive tools, no doubt, but they are just a joy to use. Watch my review on this very tool to get more info if, if you got $75 to spare for one. Number four, the Frankenstein hammer. I call this the Frankenstein hammer because I made it from two other different hammers. I like the handle on this one and I like the head on this one. So I put them together and I got the Frankenstein hammer. Even so, the handle is still a bit short and the head is still a bit too noisy. But hey, you know, it looks good and I made it myself. Well, sort of. Number four on my list. Number three, the quarter and the half round leather punching set. Now, I got this very cheaply on Amazon. They go dull, I sharpen them. They bend, I throw them away. 
but they do the job and they make a very tight cuts a breeze so for how easy they made my life these are on the third place in my top number two 1.5 millimeter hole puncher and the punching mat great tool now they are available even in one millimeter or 0.5 millimeters they are cheap they are efficient but but you gotta have a punching mat don't use these on anything else other than high density plastic board don't use a wooden cutting board they will destroy the tip of this tool and before we go to my number one tool here are a few honorable mentions this pin cushion because i never lose my stitching needles anymore the felt polishing pad great for applying amazing looking patina on the fly for your leather now i have an extensive review on this procedure go ahead and watch that if you want more information my hand drill it's great for both sanding and polishing edges great tool. with the right head attachment it will become indispensable in your tool arsenal so my number one my favorite tool of all is this guy a regular box cutter and with a proper blade which you can sharpen by the way this will go through anything including your fingers i got scars on both my fingers from this guy so be careful my hand got used to it and i've tried other different cutting tools don't get me wrong i've tried round knives japanese blades uh, all fuck up whatever you want no matter how much i want to use something else i get this one so there you have it those were my 10 favorite leatherworking tools if you want to check any of these tools out i will leave links in the video description so hey what is your favorite tool comment below and let me know and uh, i may even buy it and make a review for you and everybody else watching this channel if you already have some of these tools in your house i will leave a link to a couple of free leatherworking tutorials so you can um, you know try your hand and see maybe leatherworking is something you want to do who knows maybe you'll even like it thank you so much for watching please Remember to subscribe and click that notification button because on our next video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a hat like this from scratch. Yeah, that's right. Next video. See you there. Peace.